Securely attached toddlers tend to have a basic trust that their attachment figure will be physically and emotionally available when they're distressed. They feel free to express the full range of their feelings to the attachment figure, including anger. And when they're left in the strange situation, most will start to cry and search for their attachment figure. And when they're reunited, the toddler quickly stops crying and starts to explore the toys. Insecurely attached toddlers don't have the same trust, and they develop strategies to manage some of their painful feelings. There are three main types of strategies that insecurely attached toddlers use, and these are demonstrated by their behaviour in the strange situation when they are reunited with their attachment figure. One insecure group is avoidantly attached, usually about 20-25% to of toddlers in the UK. They are eager to explore the toys and don't show much separation anxiety when they are left with a stranger. But when their attachment figure returns, they tend to stay focused on the toys and avoid being comforted. Another insecure group is ambivalently attached, usually about 10% of toddlers. They are often distressed when they enter the room and don't play with the toys. They show a lot of separation anxiety when they are left with a stranger and can't stop crying even when their attachment figure returns. Sometimes they have a tantrum or they seek comfort and then reject it. The third insecure group are disorganised in their attachment, usually about 10-15% to of toddlers. They show a mixture of avoidant, ambivalent and secure behaviours with no coherent pattern. They may seem dazed, confused or frightened, and show incomplete or contradictory behaviours, and sometimes they are motionless and freeze. The quality of the attachment to the primary attachment figure is likely to have the greatest influence on a toddler's well-being, and if the relationship continues the way it started, the attachment classification tends to remain the same. But if the relationship changes, then the classification can change as well. I have only given the briefest outline of this subject, and the researchers are very carefully trained to assess the classifications correctly and reliably.